Spills, leaks, and explosions are still happening virtually every day. A six-month investigation by CBS News found that spills of crude oil and toxic chemicals last year alone were three times the amount of the Exxon Valdez spill. Here's our chief investigative correspondent, Armin Katayan. A CBS News investigation has found that dangerous spills and leaks by the U.S. oil and gas industry are happening all the time, all across the country. Every day, there's numerous releases happening throughout just this country. Sometimes every couple of hours, there's, there's a new incident. Truman Burnett says his dream home in rural Pennsylvania was destroyed by a spill in a nearby gas well, killing everything in this pond. The fish are dead within two weeks. There were bass, frogs, turtles. We had uh, two nests of wood ducks. It was my wife's favorite animal. Uh, but they're all gone now. They're all dead? Yes. And we've learned no one in the government knows just how many industry incidents there are. If you don't even know how many releases are occurring, if you don't even know uh, what the con overall consequences are, you cannot answer the question of whether or not we are safe enough. So we collected reported incidents at wells and pipelines from three federal agencies and 23 of the 33 oil and gas producing states. And here's what we found for just 2010. Not counting the BP disaster, at least 6,500 spills, leaks, fires, or explosions nationwide. That's 18 a day. Overall, at least 34 million gallons of crude oil and other potentially toxic chemicals spilled. That's triple the size of the 1989 Exxon Valdez spill. And while exactly how much was cleaned up isn't known, the impact certainly is. Poison drinking water. Holy cow. Dead wildlife, destroyed land, illness, injury, and people being forced from their homes, like here in Marshall, Michigan. The full creek was solid, packed full of oil. Last July, a nearly one million gallon pipeline spill turned John LaForge's backyard and miles of rivers and streams here into an oily disaster. Today, Canadian oil giant Enbridge is still cleaning up the crude oil and the legal mess that followed. I don't want to leave here, but I haven't got any choice. The issue of oil and gas industry spills is so touchy, both the top industry trade group and the Environmental Protection Agency wouldn't speak to us on camera. But we found one former oil industry executive who was willing to talk. Former Shell President John Hoffmeister. Very few people in the scheme of things are impacted, but nobody should be impacted. But nobody 34 million up. gallons is pretty significant it's number. It's big. And this is a big country with 300 million consumers. And, and so it's, but I'm not, it's not to excuse it. One gallon lost is one gallon too many. It doesn't seem like they're doing a very good job, John. I don't want to sound insensitive, but you have an industry that knows how much could happen. And relative to what could happen, from their perspective, very little does happen. As for Truman Burnett, his dreams are shattered. We were hoping to uh, spend quite a bit of time here with our children and our grandchildren, but uh, that won't be the case now. Innocent victims of an unquestionable threat, only now becoming clear. Armin Katayan, CBS News, Granville Summit, Pennsylvania.